Hi, my name is Katherine Patterson, and uh, I'm the author of My Brigadista Year, which is set in Cuba in 1961 and tells the story of a young girl, 13 years old, who became uh, a literacy worker uh, in the great campaign to turn Cuba into a literate nation in one year. I'd been to Cuba before, and I had friends in Cuba, but I didn't, had never heard about the 1961 literacy campaign. And I was about to go to Cuba again, and I met uh, Mary Leahy, who's Senator Leahy's sister, who's been involved in adult basic education uh, in Vermont for most of her career. And she said, when I told her I was going to Cuba, oh, I'm so jealous, you know, when I, started working with basic education, I, I tried to use some of the things that I learned from the 1961 Cuban Literacy Campaign. I'd never heard of the Literacy Campaign, so I began to do research because I was going to Cuba and I wanted to know about it. I really write to learn rather than to teach. <laughs> Uh, because I want it's something I really want to know about. One of the things that was really helpful to me was a movie, it's a doc, uh, documentary film about the campaign. It's called Maestra, which is of course the Spanish for a female teacher. And she, uh, the young f um, filmmaker interviewed, I think it's nine women who had been brigadistas and for, th for them, it was a turning point of their lives. And listening to those women's stories, you, you just had to write about that experience because they, every time they said, this was the most important year of my life. And I learned what I could do. Before that, I was a protected Hispanic girl with my only future was going to be uh, being groomed for a proper marriage. And once I had that year, uh, out in, in the wilds with the with the campus, you know, so I realized what I could do and I could what I could become. My closest friend in Cuba was a brigadista, and I didn't know it when I began getting interested in the campaign. I just knew her as a very strong woman. People who are working in literacy are probably going to be kind of amazed and excited about the fact that in one year Cuba could turn into a literate nation. I've gotten different uh, percentages, but it's either 99.7, 99.8, or 99.9 .9 literate. Now, we are 84% literate in the United States. Uh, and so, as problematic a person and cruel a dictator as Fidel Castro undoubtedly was. He did some good things for Cuba. Everybody can read and write. Everybody is, has access to health care and a high quality of health care. And education is free from cradle to grave. You can go from preschool to get your PhD. The most wonderful thing that has happened to me as a writer is having readers. Because I learn what my book is about from my readers. And and I don't, you know, it's always a miracle to me. I'm an old lady. And I've had kids say to me, how do you know how we feel? And I think, how do I know how they feel? I only know how. I feel. And I think one thing I've learned as a writer, the deeper you go inside yourself, the more deeply your reader is willing to respond. Mm -hmm.